the Trinity exposed number 30, the Spirit of God's Son. Another interesting one here. Galatians chapter 4, verse 6, And because ye are sons, God hath sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Uh, no, why would He send the Spirit of His Son? Why not send the, the Holy Spirit, because He's a third person of the Trinity? No, He sends the Spirit of His Son. And a lot of these Trinitarian people will teach that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, each have their own body, soul, spirit, body, soul, spirit, body, soul, spirit. So it's kind of mixed up. God the Father says He doesn't send His own Spirit. He doesn't send the Holy Spirit's Spirit. He sends the Spirit of His Son. See, if you have the Trinity belief, your, your system's all messed up. If you believe the Godhead, as Christians do, when you really study this whole thing out, if you understand and believe the Godhead, you'll realize that when it says God sends the Spirit of His Son, there is only one Spirit in the Godhead. God the Father is the soul. Jesus is the body. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit. That's how it works. John chapter 14, verse 15, down through verse 20. Let's read these verses. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. He dwelleth with you. Um, they didn't have the Holy Spirit yet. Okay? Jesus hadn't died on the cross yet when he was, right, when he was speaking to his disciples here. How's he saying then that he dwelleth with you? He's speaking about himself. How do you know? Verse 18, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. He's saying about the Father is going to send you the comforter. And he says, I'm not going to leave you comfortless. I'm going to come to you. Why is he speaking about himself in reference to the Holy Spirit that comes? Because it's the Spirit, you know, God sends the Spirit of his Son, you see. Pretty interesting. Verse 19. Yet, yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Yeah, we're connected to God, to the Godhead, not to some pagan trinity. John chapter 15, verse 26. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. The Spirit of his Son. John chapter 16, verse 13. Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. 1 John chapter 4, verse 6. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. If you believe in the Trinity concept and you will not, you've watched these videos and you say, well, I reject this thing that you're, you're saying here and I reject what the Bible plainly teaches and whatever. I'm going to stick to the Trinity. I'm going to add my words to the you know, scriptures. And I know it doesn't say God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. And I know it doesn't say three persons or blessed Trinity or whatever but I'm just going to stick with it. Uh, you don't have the Holy Spirit of God in you. God hasn't sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your life. You don't have Jesus Christ. You don't have the Father, and you don't have the Spirit.